And Livy, our director, was like, you know, someone pretty big. And I yeah. was like, oh, I wonder who. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I never thought it would ever be Taylor Swift. It's like totally wild. Abandoned child. I had a family once. They called me Kaya. A little girl surviving in the marsh on her own, reviled and shunned. Hello, Miss Kaya. I hear y'all buy muscles. Congratulations on the movie. How do you feel? You. It's coming out. Yeah, I'm very excited. I can't believe it. We, we filmed, uh, we finished filming about this time last year, so it's kind of been a, a complete year since we, we finished. So, yeah, I feel very excited for it to come out. Now, I've got to ask, how would you feel, Daisy, living out on the marsh? Do you think you'd cope? And how was it driving that boat, honestly? Oh, I love <laughs> I love driving the boat. I love driving, and I like to go very fast on it. Um, so that, that I think I'd be good if I had a boat with me. I could, I could travel places. I, I'm not sure I would fare particularly well. I mean, I did. Bored, like, the I maybe get a bit bored. I did my Duke of Edinburgh, so I can. I, I know a little bit about leaves, um, <laughs> <laughs> but that's about it. So, um, so yeah, I don't know how. Would how would you do? I I don't think I could. I, I'd be too scared. Like I'd be mm. w watching. Like is something coming to get me? I think like, that's it. It's the night, yeah. like the nighttime stuff. The I nighttime stuff. Yeah. I just hide. Yeah. I wouldn't survive. In the world, <laughs> we all know that. And in the movie, there were flashbacks to Kaya's younger self. If you could show your younger self your career, what would you say to her? Gosh, I think, I think I'd, be, I think I'd be so baffled. I, I yeah, I, I wanted to be an actor for such a long time since I was very wee. So I think I just wouldn't really be able to believe it. So yeah, yeah. Honestly, like to see your trajectory keep growing like through every movie, through every project, like it's absolutely incredible. So congratulations, y'all. Thank you. You're doing really well. Thanks. <laughs> and in the movie, Nate teaches you how to read. What's something that the industry has taught you that stuck with you? Yeah, I think, I think. Similarly, actually, to, to, to Tate teaching Kai to read, that you know, that small act of kindness had such a profound mm. effect on who she became. And I think that's something I've realised is that, like, I've met some wonderful people doing this job. Like, I think the collaborative part, the collaborative part of this job is what I love the most. So I think maybe that, just the, the kind of, um, the effects of, of the people that you meet on, on, on who you become in your life, maybe, is what. I love yeah. that. It's like the energy becomes, like, part of you and you're only able to give that out. Yeah, totally, that. totally. Yeah. And in the movie, everyone calls you the Marsh Girl because of you're a bit of a loner and, and an outsider. And I think a lot of young people can relate to that feeling. So mm. what advice would you give them? To Yeah, well, I would say it is a very human feeling to feel lonely and to feel mm. like you don't belong. But I think it's, you know, like we see with Kai when she finds those people that are kind and that, you know, and that really see her for who she is, that they, that you know... And I, I think that's what it is. It's, it's if you feel that way, it's finding the people that, that, that build you up and make you feel your ultimate self and 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 if you find that in somebody run with it and ignore the people who who make you feel less than definitely it's all about finding your community and finding people that you belong with totally you, definitely and okay we've got to talk about this taylor swift wrote the song carolina so we've got to talk are you a swifty <laughs> i am indeed <laughs> Are you more of an Evermore kind of girl or folklore? Like, what, what a bit of it all, to be honest. I've loved Taylor Swift since I was wee. Like, I, Love Story is one of the, uh, one of the first times I really remember a song coming on the radio and being like, oh, I've never feel, felt more seen. Like, I, I, I have been such a huge fan of hers for so long, and I didn't know she was involved until I watched the trailer. So, you know, no I knew way. that there was a musical. It's that someone had come on to write the, the sound, you know, the 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 credit song, but I didn't know. Who, who it was and, and Livy our director was like you know someone pretty big and I yeah. was like oh I wonder who <laughs> yeah. I never thought it would ever be Taylor Swift it's like totally wild but um but the song Carolina is so perfect for that for the story and Definitely. yeah she really captured the the tone of the book so beautifully in it have you met her since or I haven't yet okay yes I, I love how you said yes I'm, I'm hopeful I'm yeah. hopeful it will happen I'm hopeful too I'll lose my cool but yeah no you won't you'll keep your cool, you'll keep yeah, your cool. I'm yeah. sure she'd be delighted to meet you as well be wild. <laughs> <laughs> and last question. So you found in the movie peace of nature. So for you, Daisy, what's your happy place? What brings you peace? I think I think like I said before, actually being being with the, those people that that you know that you feel your most self with, uh, and just yeah, being surrounded by like your your true friends and your family that you love. I, that's when I feel most at peace. I'd say. Definitely, that's such a beautiful answer. But that's mm. all my questions. I'm done. Thank you. Nice Thank to you see so you again. Much. You too. <laughs>